The next thing that we're going to discuss is about the MicroStrategy dashboard. A MicroStrategy report service document contains objects representing the data coming from one or my, more MicroStrategy report as well as images and shapes. So the MicroStrategy report service document can contain uh, an object which will show you the data coming from multiple reports and it can be even represented as an image or, or various shapes. Documents can appear in almost as many ways as you can imagine and are generally formatted to suit your business need in a single display of a presentation quality. As a document, you can just uh, you know, uh, design it to be uh, to appear, to make it appear in almost as many formats that you can imagine. But at the end, you just going to make sure that it uh, falls in line with your business need so that you know, in a single display, you can have a, you know, a multiple presented quality. Whereas a dashboard, a dashboard is a special type of a document. So as of now, we discussed the MicroStrategy Report Service document. But if I say about the dashboard, it is a commonly one long page which is intended to be viewed online and usually provides interactive features that let analysts change how they view the dashboard data. So as a dashboard, will just you know it's going to be one page having a multiple quadrant look, and you are viewing the data across multiple dimensions or for the multiple KPIs. By being only one page long, a dashboard makes it easy to view the entire document at the same time and see all the definition. So you really do not have to go through multiple reports. I can just have one dashboard where I can incorporate all the information so that you know it makes easy to view the uh, data at one point of time and I can, I can just analyze all the informative data. A dashboard allows interactivity from user, so each user can change how they see the data within the limits of what the controls are allowed to them. So each user can have a, some, some kind of a functionality where they can do some kind of a changes online, on the fly, so that you know they can have a uh, perspective. But yes, of course, it will always have a few limitation user to user. Each micro strategy can be displayed in various modes. You have like something called as express mode, flash mode, interactive mode, editable mode, and the design mode. So it's not that only you can have only a, a micro strategy dashboard represented in one kind of a format. It offers uh, multiple modes, whichever you know, the best uh, suits your requirement. You can always have your dashboard to be run in that particular format by default. We will even see uh, some kind of a MicroStrategy dashboard. So we're going to log in into the MicroStrategy web, and we will walk through few of these, just a few of the sample dashboard, just to see what kind of data can really be represented within the dashboards. This will be really, you know, make you, uh, make you, uh, it will give you a kind of an insight about the dashboards. So let's just try to access this particular link. So we're going to access the MicroStrategy web, and from there, we're just going to access the dashboards. So once I authenticate myself, I can access the MicroStrategy environment. And if you look at this particular interface, it's the MicroStrategy web. So I will just go and run a few of the sample dashboards, just to understand again like, uh, what kind of a dashboards we really have. So if I click on the top 10 airports, and if you look over here, it gives you like kind of a one page uh, data, and you have a multiple uh, information that you can really see of. So it shows you some kind of a top 10 world airports, not just the uh, volume data, the passenger volume data, it even has some kind of a trend analysis, and the percentage comparison based on year on year or the uh, domestic versus international passenger. I can even have a various kind of a links. So if I, click, if I can click on one of the airports at the bottom section, my image is getting refreshed, my data is getting refreshed. So even I have a, a various kind of an interactivity 
that you can really deploy it within the dashboard. It's not that you know it's just a one page. You can even have a tab format dashboard. So if I click on the historical trend, it will give me some kind of a historical data about those airports. So whatever the airports I select over here, based on that, my you know my data is going to get refreshed, and I can even just uh, change the style in which I want to represent the data. If in case I want to see as a line chart, or I can even see as a bubble grid. So you can always have your various kind of a dashboards uh, designed as per your requirement. Let's uh, try to see one or few more dashboards just to give you, just to walk you through about and understand how the dashboards can be really helpful when you design on top via MicroStrategy tool. So if you look over here, we have a, a very good uh, selector. So whenever I just hover my mouse over here, it really expands and contract and based on my selection a certain sections of dashboards gets refreshed based on the information that you want to look out for so if you if I, I can see the population data I can see the economic indicators I can even see the education data so this is something from the transportation the California Department of Transportation perspective and whenever I make a change on my selector all the informations are getting updated so if you look over here, within just a few click, uh, within a few click, my dashboard is ready, and within few seconds, my data has been represented, has been showcased. So even if you look over here, just uh, just a click, my data, uh, my report gets executed, and it can be finally represented in the format of a dashboard I can even make some kind of an changes whatever the you know or the selector you want to apply it for and accordingly I can even forecast my profit and interest in taxes as well so what would be my net income if I if I you know increase my revenue if it, you know this is something kind of a pre predictive analysis that you can even do from the micro strategy dashboard so even if in case my revenue was less by certain percentage my all this values the forecasted value gets up uh, updated and accordingly I can really predict my business so it's not only about the revenue I can you're gonna play with the uh, n number of uh, factors that is selling cost the general and admin the revenue information and so on so there are various factors that you can really look out from based on that my all the forecasting can be done so it's kind of a doing a predictive analysis on the fly which is also been supported by micro strategy if in case I just want to reset my selection I can just click over here and all my selection are going to be reset and just say reset data and that's it so there are a lot of things yeah I know all the you can have various kind of selectors you have a various kind of on file predictive analysis, beautiful interactive uh, dashboards, quits, graphs, and so on. So this is pretty much about the MicroStrategy dashboards. We really saw what is the report service document, what is MicroStrategy dashboards. A special kind of a report service document makes always the dashboards. We even saw a few samples of dashboards within the MicroStrategy. Thanks a lot for joining in.